Another way to plant a seed. Fill this in uh, this blank in for me. Don't keep me a secret. Don't keep me a secret. I've been teaching this for a long time, and I got to tell you, this thing produces results. Now, first of all, it never hurts a relationship. I mean, you can say, don't keep me a secret to a client. They're not going to say, oh, I can't believe you said that. I'm taking all my money out of the bank. That's not going to happen. Right? They're going to say, sure. Yeah, great. Okay. That's about the worst thing that will happen, right? And it plants a seed. It goes into unconsciousness. You, you fertilize and you water that with a, a nurture it with a good relationship. And down the road, they run into someone and they make that connection for you. But sometimes... This one in particular can lead to referrals right on the spot. I guarantee if you start saying, don't keep me a secret to your customers, you're going to start getting referrals. Now, I know at first blush it sounds a little silly for some of you, but it really does work. Let me give you a few examples. Brian Carden, Nashville, Tennessee, working with a husband and wife contracting team. They, they, turn, they, they build very nice homes in the Nashville area. And near the end of the meeting, he says to them, please, don't keep me a secret. He said they took it like a command. They stopped, they started thinking, they referred him to, to a doctor and wife, someone whose home they built recently. Within a month, they had become a client of his, just by saying, don't keep me a secret. Larry Denoyer, Westchester County, New York, has a client in his office on a Friday morning, says to her, by the way, I'm still, still taking on new clients. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't keep me a secret. He said she immediately thought of her sister, who, who in the past was happy with who she was using, but something must have changed. Right? So 6.30, Friday evening, Larry's working a little late. The sister calls. Mr. Denoy, I'd like to meet with you as soon as possible. How soon can we set it up? So they set up a meeting for 10 o'clock on Monday morning. At that meeting, the sister commits to investing $1 million with him on the spot. He told me this. It was the fastest turnaround from prospect to client he's ever had. He says it pays to say don't keep me a secret and to work a little late on Fridays. <laughs> I need someone to pick on. Uh, sir, can I pick on you? Right, you can stay there. You don't have to go anywhere. But after I'm done, I want you to come up. I'm going to give you a copy of my book, Get More Referrals Now. And I'll sign it for you. And with my signature, the day I die, it's worth twice as much of what you paid for it. Now, if you read the sucker and use it, you, you might actually bring some more. But I just need someone to focus on. Your name, sir, is? Nat. All right, so let's say I'm sitting down with Nat for the very first time. He's a prospect, and he's been referred to me by his friend George, who's been very happy with my service. I'll say something like this. Nat, it's great to finally sit down and meet with you in person. You know, my guess is, or I'm wondering, actually, that you, you feel a little more comfortable sitting down with me for the very first time because your friend George recommend we get together. Is that true? And you know, Nat, that's kind of the way this business works. When, when people see the value of the work we do and how we serve them and, and they want to share that with other people, then everybody feels a little more comfortable in the process. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, have I asked Nat for referrals yet? No, I just met the guy much too soon in the relationship, is it not? Have I planted the seed? Absolutely.